we are going to be doing a week overview of week 14. Starting with the decline team of mine, which is the Houston Texans. You've had them on every week that we do it. Of course they've been Well, declined. they almost won, but they lost to so the you were Dallas call, Cowboys. You were going to call them a winning team uh, or on a, on a winning streak or whatever if they beat the Cowboys? They weren't on a winning streak. I don't know. They're on a horrendous losing streak. They're now 11, no, 1-11-1, and last week they were eliminated from the playoffs, so. So he's going to continue using the same team out here. Because they're just horrendous they're this just year. horrendous, okay. Worst starts since 2005. Well, okay. Improved. I'm going to go with the Lions here. They've done, they've been hot. Whatever they got clicking for them is going on. Is it too late for them to make a playoff run? Probably, you know, it's kind of upsetting because on paper and everything, they are really, really, it, it, it's, it's a lot of, it, it, it's upsetting because they had a big win against the Vikings the other day and pretty much they have just, uh, really, really, I mean, these last couple of weeks put on a clinic with what they've been able to do. Jared Goff stating that, you know, he's been playing some of his best football. And, you know, I think he is. He's playing great football. And also, you got to watch out because they also have Jamal Williams playing. He's got like 14 rushing TDs. Yes. So that could be an offense threat. Correct. But going on with my improved team, the Eagles, which they have clinched the playoffs for the second straight year. Uh, Jalen Hurts, second straight year for 10 rushing TDs. Yeah. You know, here's how I kind of feel about that. Uh, you know, and I'm probably going to get blasted for it. And this is the reason I don't have them on improved. I just don't like what kind of schedule they've had this year. Uh, when you look at the teams that, I mean, minus, you know, yeah, they beat the Giants. They've beaten, you know, the Cowboys with a unhealthy, you know, really Dak Prescott. I'm interested in that. I really am, and we'll talk more about that here shortly. But on a decline for me, I'm going with the Giants here. They look something where, the, you know, they were having that beginner's luck, you know, being able to come back from being down. It just looks like it's fizzled out. The offense isn't clicking. The defense isn't clicking. And it's troublesome. It really is. It's very, very troublesome, uh, especially trying to make the playoffs. You know, they want to make that statement. Uh, they have a lot of work to do to get themselves there. All right. So for my decline team, I have the Denver Broncos. They they did finally score the most points in a single game with, what, 28? Yeah. And they still didn't win. And unfortunately, another year, another year not in the playoffs for Denver. And you're going to find this is a shock for me, but I think there's a lot of gaps despite the record of being 10-3. and three. A decline, I'm going to say the Chiefs. And just hear me out here. Defensively, they're not clicking defensively. If you look at a lot of their games, yeah, they're putting points on the board, which is great offensively, but that defense is having a problem out here. As you could see against the Broncos, you know, the Broncos made a bit big run. Yeah, a win's a win, but at some point in time, they're going to have to figure it out. Two teams that I'm concerned that they lost to this season, you know, where it's probably going to have to run through is, you know, the Bengals and the, uh, the Bills. You know, they really have shown offensively and defensively what they've been able to do. You know, again, I understand they're 10-3. and three. They, they are. They're playing a hard schedule. That's what happens. But they've got to make some defensive adjustments where they're going to be able to stop that because if they want to make themselves on a deep run for a Super Bowl, they're going to have to be able to fix those mechanically starting now and yeah i understand the playoffs are different but they need to fix it it can't be one issue this week and one issue that week it's gonna have to start they're gonna have to make those adjustments accordingly today all right but this one but this one on the improved side hopefully can finally be a little reasonable the 49ers for the improved side they are right now playing their best football six consecutive wins and they're actually leading the division yeah 
you know, the Seahawks were the ones that were in that. And I actually have them as my next improved team as well, too. Brock Pur Purdy is putting them on the edge. He is playing like a professional pro. I mean, he's coming out here, especially for injured Jimmy Garoppolo, who thought, you know, we thought it was going to be his next chance. And he has a chance to come back. It's going to be rather interesting to see. I like what they're playing. They're playing very good ball. Shanahan's got, you know, yeah, they've, they, they've lost players, but they've also, you know, they really, really, it's, it's going to be a rather interesting remainder of the year. All right, for my even team, and my only even team on this list, I don't know if I should even call them even or not, the Chargers. One game they win here, one game they win there. They are actually in the last place for the wild card right now, mm -hmm. but... If they want to get deeper into the wild card race, like go maybe sixth place, fifth place in the wild card race, they're gonna to need to win games now. Yeah, and they've had some interesting stuff here. You know, I, I I watched that game last night. You weren't too intrigued with Miami and the I pass watched, or interference that game. The pass interference was very, or, the, or not the pass Ruffer, interference, roughing the passer. Roughing the passer that was really. I didn't see body weight on there. At some point, they're going to, you know, I liked how Collinsworth and them said, eventually they're going to have to get this thing tuned right. I don't think there was the full intentional body weight put onto Herbert. I think it should have been Miami Dolphins getting the ball back uh, right then and there instead of another drive, being able to rush up yardage. Would that have made a difference in the game? I don't know, you know, that. but it does take a lot. Eventually, they're going to have to get this roughing the passer, uh, you know, unsportsmanlike conduct stuff figured out what what constitutes the body weight going driven in and all that because that's really going to take away and there is week in and week out there's that inconsistency i was expecting you know the chargers to put up more of a fight in the division they're still in but you know it's week in week out you know the inconsistency that's offensively and defensively go uh, uh that was you mm -hmm. uh I had the decline team of the Tennessee Titans. You know, I was expecting Mike Vrabel's team to come out hungry to go ahead and try to, uh, you know, re or, or, or put some revenge on themselves and redeem themselves and putting them in that playoff form. And Tannehill just, they, they look lost out there. They just seem uncomfortable. There's something mechanically not working that they need to figure out. All right. For my improved team... I have the Lions. You know, yeah, it, it's probably too late. Even though they are in the wild card race, not in the wild card spots, but in the hunt for the wild card, they still, I mean, they could try to maybe triple their win total from 2021. They've doubled it, but they have a chance to triple it, though. And that's not out of the question. That's not out of the question. And their 2021 win total was three, by the way, but six wins... Are we are we seeing a sign of a positive rebuild for them? For my neutral team, my even team, I'm going to say the Ravens. And the reason I'm going to say the Ravens here is they are they're inconsistent as well too, defensively, offensively, they're they're very inconsistent. And I know Lamar Jackson was injured this past week and Huntley played. So, but they need to figure something out there, you know. Again, this was a team I expected a little bit better expectation. Yeah, they're not doing bad. They've only got four losses out here. But I really do. I think they need to get something else in the mix here. Clicking. If they're Again, here's another team that I thought was going to make it further down the line into the uh, playoffs. All right. My decline team and my last team on this list is the Jets. Two straight losses, unfortunately, for the Jets. I thought you did seven. I did seven. No. I did one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah I did yeah, seven. That's true. I'm sorry. Well, it, it, and here's my last one on there. Well, he kept it brief, and that was me. Sorry, guys. Improved. I like what I'm seeing out of the Cowboys. I'll admit, at the beginning of the year, this, ki this kiddo over here sat here and laughed at me when I said the Cowboys were going to make a deep run for the playoffs. Okay? Then there was the... You know, Cooper Rush had to fill in for Dak Prescott when he got injured, correct? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, then 
you know, I thought Cooper Rush, but then, you know, I said, give, you know, Dak Prescott a couple weeks. I admit it. You know, and I like what I'm seeing offensively and defensively on both sides of the ball mechanically. And even though it was such a close game against the Texans, they showed their ability to be able to drive down the field, get a touchdown, clock management, and be able to win that game. Those, You know, you got to be able to show that ability. So I like really what I'm seeing out of it. Uh, I really do. I really like how this team looks poised in order to make a deeper run into the playoffs and possibly a Super Bowl run. So, starting with your sixth team for playoffs in order, who do you think? Who do you have as your number six? I don't know why I have eight, but uh, number six is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> right now they're even, but any team can do anything. They could always make a second half run, maybe. But, um... In the last in the last game they played against the 49ers, they just got obliterated, 35 to seven. So maybe I should back that one off a bit. Here's my number six here, guys. And you know, as much as I'm a Chiefs fan, I'm admitting it right now. They are on that lower level of everything right now. They're number six for me, simply because I think they really need to make those adjustments mechanically on defense. You know, offensively they've got the points. But defensively, without those adjustments, being able to stop them, that's going to hurt. Alright, so for my fifth team, I have the Cincinnati Bengals. They've been playing some decent football right now. And also, Jamar Chase is back. Yeah, they did lose another player yesterday, but... And hopefully Joe Mixon can come soon. Yeah. But I don't know how soon. You know, they've been playing good ball with their uh, second uh, running back. And me, likewise, I have the Bengals as my number f five pick. You can't mm -hmm. cut them out. Joe Burrow's playing very good football right now. And they're showing that they can win without some big names. You know, they they were winning without without Jamar Chase. They won with Jamar Chase. Mixon not being in the mix of things. It's crucial. You know, all your players being on that same level of play, being able to utilize each and every player for, your, uh, for a weakness. But go ahead with you. For your number four. All right, my number four is the Ravens. But they could always be lower because they they lost Jamar. Not Jamar. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> Lamar, Lamar Jackson. Jackson. So. I have my number four is the 49ers. I think they're going to be a squeaky team to get in there. I think that could be a team that surprises everybody. With the way they're playing right now, Shanahan has experience. Uh, you know, I, I, it will be rather interesting to see what happens as we go on for the remainder of the uh, season. All right, for my number three team, I have the Cowboys. I mean, they are playing some decent football. Yeah, they almost lost to a 1-10-1 team, but they somehow figured it out, and they beat the, and they beat the Texans. For my number three team, I have the Buffalo Bills. They're dangerous, guys. Even without Von Miller, they're still a dangerous defensively team. Josh Allen is a great quarterback, no doubt about it. They are explosive. I expect them, and here's the three teams that I'm looking at right here. And these are probably going to be changing as the weeks go along. The Chiefs, Bengals, and Bills. Are they all going to be playing at some point? You know, are the Bengals, Bills going to be playing at some point? Whether it's AFC... Uh, championship game. That's what I'm intrigued about right now. Who's going to really be there and and get that W to go into the Super Bowl? You go ahead. All right. For my second team, 49ers. Like I said, they're playing their best football right now. They're playing pretty solid. They lead the whatever division they're in. Probably NFC West. And this... Is you know even though I said take a look at what Philadelphia has played the you you know on the side of everything between the teams uh, that they've played, I still have them as number two in my playoff hunt simply because of the things they are a good team. There's no doubt about it. They're playing very good ball. They have a great record. Do I think that record could be different given give them a little bit harder of a schedule? Yes. That being said, you know. It's going to be a flip between, you know, I am interested in seeing what happens between 
Prescott and Hurts when they both play here in a couple weeks. That's going to be a really good game, and I think that's going to really show who the, you know, if the Eagles win, I'll come out and say, you know, the Eagles have the best chance to win. But as of right now, the Eagles, I think you're the second chance. All right, number one, I have Kansas City. Wow. He has the Chiefs as his number one. Mm-hmm, because, I mean, they figured out stuff before, so they'll be fine. Yeah, they'll be fine. Yeah, okay. As my number one right now, if anybody was to go and win it, it would be, it would be, it would be the Cowboys. I really do. I think offensively, defensively, week in, week out, they look the best. Their defense is explosive. They have the better defense. They have Dan Quinn running that defensive scheme, and they are playing hot. They are playing hot. Look all you want like that, but they are playing great ball. This is the guy that sat there and said, "Oh, they're not going to the playoffs this year. They're going to lose every game." Nope. I've been very, very accurate on that, minus giving the credit to Dak Prescott. I wanted to see what he did for a couple weeks, and he's done great. That being said, I expect it to be very, very interesting. We could see it be the Cowboys versus the Bengals, the Bills, or the Chiefs right now at this point. He thinks, so So if you had to put in the Super Bowl today, who would you pick? Oh, man. In the Super Bowl, your AFC team. And you and you cannot change it. You cannot change it. Bengals and 49ers. Wow. It's a rematch. Bengals 49ers. That's my pick right now. If I had to put it on today, here's what I'm going to say, guys. I'm sticking with what I think I said at the beginning of the season. The Cowboys and Chiefs. I think the Cowboys and Chiefs go to the Super Bowl and defense blubbers on Chiefs side, but somehow Mahomes is able to carry them, and I think that the Chiefs wind up winning. But I think it's going to be a Cowboys Chiefs Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, I don't think the Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl. They are. They're but probably. if you think that way, you can always put it in the comments down below. Smash the like button and also smash the subscribe button as we are inching closer to the 700 subscriber mark. Dun, dun, dun. See you guys later. Peace.